What's going on everyone? I'm back here with another video and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to hide slash remove Apple's pre-installed apps uh, in iOS 10. So this is a new feature within the iOS 10 update and what it allows you to do is basically hide um, Apple's default apps that are pre-installed on your iOS device when you purchase it. So most of the apps you see here are a lot of them people don't even use. Say, for example, the Stocks application, the iTunes Store, um, iBooks, Reminders, um, things like that. Uh, a lot of people don't use those, so and they just wish they could get rid of them. Luckily, Apple has now allowed us to do that in iOS 10. So the way you do it is it is incredibly simple. All you have to do is press and hold on one of the applications, it doesn't matter, and you go into uh, the edit mode, and basically it, you can delete the application just like you would a third-party app that you would download from the App Store. So, see, now all of the apps here have an X on it, like Notes, Reminders, Stocks, iTunes, Store, Home, iBooks, all of those have a little X on it. And basically, you, when you want to get rid of one of them, you just click on, say, Stocks, click that, and then you get this little menu here. It's giving you a warning if you want to remove it or not. It says, removing this app from the home screen will also delete its data. So it will delete the app's data if you currently, if you do have data installed on it. But um, if you don't care about that, you can hit Remove, like so, and then there you have it. Stocks is now no longer um, on the device. Now, for those of you that want to get the app back after you've deleted it, so basically if you change your mind and you no longer want it to be deleted, um, it's actually really simple to get the app back. Um, so all you have to do is jump into the App Store, and basically you just need to search for the app that you just deleted. So the app that I deleted in this case is the Stocks application. So if we search for Stocks, as you can see, it is the number one search result there. So if we click on that and let it load, and then there you go. You can see now you can download the Stocks app back onto your device. So once you hit the little iCloud icon here, it'll immediately download. Now it says open. So if we then go back to the home screen, you can see there, Stocks is now back installed on your device. So um, it's nice that Apple does allow you to reinstall the apps for those of you that may accidentally delete them or if you just have a change of heart and you no longer want the app deleted and you want it back. Um, there you go. That, that's the way you do it. But anyway, hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Uh, make sure to hit the subscribe button right down there. It's greatly appreciated. Uh, if you guys like the video, hit that thumbs up button. It's greatly, greatly appreciated. And if you guys have any questions, comments, need help, anything like that, drop a comment below and I'll get back to them as soon as I can. So yeah, that being said, hope you guys have enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.